Hey guys, I'm Aleximo, and we all know that the Pokemon anime's main goal is to make a rough adaptation of the Pokemon main series game's plot. Yeah, they stretch some things, they do their own thing, but all in all, the anime is meant to represent the main series games. Every once in a while though, the anime will take some inspiration from a spin-off game. We've seen Mystery Dungeon episodes, Ranger episodes, even a Magikarp Jump episode. So basically the purpose of my video today is to create 10 brand new Pokemon Journeys episodes based off of various spin-off games. Some of these are going to be some real and actual concepts, some of them are just going to be jokes because, spoiler alert, how are they going to make a Pokemon sleep anime? But regardless, it was really fun to make this video, so let's get right into it. Alright, let's start with Pokemon Snap or New Pokemon Snap, which is honestly one of my favorite spin-off games, it's so good. But basically the idea for this episode is that for Project Mew, Go would be given a trial mission to get a photograph of an Illumina Pokemon from the Lentil region. After arriving in the region, Go would go and meet Professor Mirror and ask him for some advice on how he can find Illumina Pokemon. Professor Mirror would tell him that there have been some sightings of Illumina Pokemon on Beluziva Island, so Go would head over there. On the island, he would get lost in all of the fog of the Elsewhere Forest and be separated from Ash and some of his Pokemon. He would have to use the Pokemon he has on hand to help him through various obstacles that he finds in the forest. Eventually, he would find his way to the Illumina Pokemon, a Milotic, and lure it out with Illumina Orbs. He would snap a picture with his Rotom phone and get his token. The next spin-off game is going to be Pokemon Masters, so I feel like this would be interesting to take place in the Striaton Gym, because those are triplet gym leaders, and basically Pokemon Masters is all about triple battles. Technically the Striaton brothers aren't in the game, but they were in the Pokemon Masters animated trailer, so they'll probably be added in the future? Anyway, that's where I'm going with this episode concept. Striaton brothers will be holding a triple battle tournament at their restaurant. People must enter with one Pokemon and basically create their sync pair and be paired with two random others to form a team. The winners of the tournament would then fight the brothers in a triple battle. Anyway, Ash would form a sync pair with his Pikachu, and would get partnered with Paulo and his Rockruff, as well as Tina and her Flareon. They would battle through various battles, and eventually reach the Striton brothers, who they would face in a triple battle, and of course, beat. I feel like this would be a fun way to bring back Silent, and I think it made sense to host a tournament in Unova, since in the anime, Unova was known for all of its amazing tournaments. Pokemon Smile. Oh god, what, what the heck do I do for Smile? Um, Pikachu gets a cavity. So Brock comes out of doctor school and treats his cavity. Y yeah, that, that'll that work. Pokemon Pinball. Go would travel to the brand new Celadon Game Corner to play Pokemon Pinball. Essentially, this would be a giant pinball machine where you use a Pokeball as a pinball and there would be actual Pokemon in the machine that you would catch. These Pokemon would essentially be the Game Corner prize Pokemon, it's like Porygon or Dratini. While playing pinball, Go would meet Arcade Star Dahlia, who was there because she enjoys arcade games. They would become rivals and try to catch every possible pinball Pokemon. Go would improve his pinball skills, and by the end of the episode, catch all of the prize Pokemon from the pinball machine, and have a brand new friend in Dahlia. Alright, this will be Pokemon Art Academy. Tracy is hosting an Art Academy class at Oak's Lab, so Ash, Go, and Koharu decide to go and learn how to draw. Ash is decent at drawing, and Go is actually pretty good. However, the episode is mainly focused around Koharu, as she explores the goal of a Pokemon Watcher, and learns a lot about Tracy, and learning about what it's like to be Professor Oak's assistant. Since Koharu's Eevee is known to imitate different Eevee evolutions, Koharu would end up drawing 8 pictures of Eevee imitating all 8 Eevee evolutions. I think this would be interesting and tie into Koharu's goal of trying out tons of different goals until she finds out whatever works for her. Pokemon Sleep. Um, so, so they're actually going to reveal that Go caught Cresselia off screen, right? Um, and it's gonna use its little sleepy powers, and Go is gonna sleep, and then the entire episode is just 20 minutes of Go sleeping. This is obviously peak Pokemon, it makes complete sense, and would just be the best episode ever. Why the hell did I write that? Pokemon Unite. I'm gonna have this take place on the Decalor Islands, because both, well, there's no reason for the Decalor Islands to be used for anything else, so this gives it something. And also, there were a couple, like, Pokemon tournaments there, Pokemon Sumo and the Scalchop contest, so, eh, why not throw a random tournament there? 
So the Decalor Islands is going to be hosting a unique 5v5 tournament where trainers communicate with their Pokemon through special headsets and headphones. Essentially, the trainers aren't actually in the arena, it's just the Pokemon. Ash and Go will enter with Pikachu and Cinderace and dress them up in Hollowear, but surprisingly Ash and Go are going to be on opposite teams. Two of them are going to have to work together with their brand new teammates and fight each other for the win. Near the climax of the battle, Team Rocket would interrupt with their Robo Zapdos, and the teams would have to settle their differences to work together and defeat the Zapdos. In the end, they would defeat it and continue the match. And by the end, Ash would barely win with one more point than Go. Alright, Pokemon Go. So, if you didn't know, Go actually has Pokemon Go on his phone. It's been shown to be an app on his phone. So, Go will just get addicted to mobile gaming, and become one of those news stories where he chases a Diglett and falls off a bridge or something. So next up is Pokemon Cafe Mix, and I think this would be a great time to bring Opal back. Opal is going to be opening a brand new bakery to sell all of her cakes and desserts and such, and she decides she wants Ash to cook because she decided that she really liked him and his Milkery's cream. Since she doesn't deem Go's cream as worthy, she'll just have him dress up in like a mascot costume or something. I don't know, he's irrelevant. Anyway, Ash is the only one in the kitchen and he gets extremely overworked taking orders. First it would start with some random like character of the days, placing orders, and then some Galar characters would come in like Alistair and Piers or Marnie. Finally, B would come in. Since she loves her sweets, she would essentially be the final boss. She would ask for some super specific order like a Pumpkin ice latte frappuccino with two pumps of lemonade, 3% mango, a scoop of matcha banana blended, and that's just my sister's Starbucks order, never mind. Anyway, she would give Ash some super complex order, and he would have to make it, and hopefully not fail. And the final spinoff game of the video will be the trading card game. This really does not count as a spinoff game, it's its own game, but whatever, it, it, it counts now, I'm using it. James would be looking through his card collection one day, and Jesse would decide to sell all of his cards because they're poor and need money. The Twerps would come across a totally unsuspicious card selling stand, and Go would reveal that he actually has a massive card collection. Go would then be inspired to play the TCG, so he would leave the card selling stand and go and enter a tournament. Jesse would be mad that Go left without buying anything, and decide to go enter the tournament just to defeat him. Go would win his way through while Jesse cheats her way through. She would use a psychic type Pokemon from the gotcha machine and use the move psychic to make sure her coin flips always land the way she wants them to. In the finals, they would meet and Go would win with his super rare VMAX Cinderace card. Jesse would become upset and decide to steal everyone's cards in the whole tournament. Pikachu would blast her off and everyone would be happy. The end. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I really enjoyed making this video, and tell me in the comments what you think. If there are any spinoff games I missed, tell me what you think those spinoff games would be like in the anime. Anyway, if you like this video, feel free to like, subscribe, share, all that stuff, ring the bell. I don't know what I'm supposed to say in the outro. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.